Conducting research in the arts and sharing the results is a professional way of joining a vibrant, ongoing conversation about music, dance, theater, or any other art form. In order to contribute to the conversation, the thoughtful artist must first understand what other participants in the conversation have already said and how each conversation thread relates to others. For example, in composing an artist statement, you, the scholar artist, might state how your work fits within artistic, cultural, historical, political, or social contexts. You will need to research those aspects in order to do so. Your research may also provide a frame of reference for your contribution to the conversation as you critique your own and others' works in discussion and in writing. In the arts, research may involve exploring sculpture or choreography or music compositions and recordings, among many other works, which make up that rich conversation. It may also involve exploring techniques and materials, writing artist statements, participating in critiques, preparing exhibitions, performing, and publishing in academic journals in the arts are a few ways to participate in a scholarly, artistic conversation. Preparing for this conversation sometimes involves delving into published academic material, also known as the literature, related to the topic. A literature review is an analysis of that published material. The literature review provides a frame of reference by explaining what is already known about a topic and what needs further investigation. Reviewing the literature will also help you, the scholar artist, to clarify your research topic as well as focus your search for information. This scholarly information is often found in a library's research databases, which is our focus in this tutorial. It is easy to get frustrated when searching for articles in library databases because the databases don't work in exactly the same way as Google. You have to use different search techniques to find the information you need. This is why it's a good idea to plan out your search before you start looking for articles. Planning out your search will also save you time. The first thing you need to do is write your research topic as a sentence or question. For example, if I am interested in the effects of ballroom dancing on individuals with dementia, my research question might be, does therapy involving ballroom dance have a positive effect on patients with dementia? Or, if I state my topic as a sentence, I might write, ballroom dance therapy has a positive effect on patients with dementia. It's important to be as concise as possible while still including all of the main points of your research topic. You may need to write several drafts of your question or sentence before you have something you can work with. The next step is to identify the main ideas or keywords in your question or sentence. My keywords are dance therapy, ballroom dance, and dementia. You may have more than two keywords, but you should always have more than one. If you only have one keyword, your topic is probably too general to present a good argument in your research paper. The more keywords you have, the more they will help you focus your research. After identifying your keywords, you should come up with alternative keywords. These alternative keywords may be synonyms, similar concepts, words that are more specific or more general, or acronyms. Having a variety of keywords on hand makes it easier for you to change your search if you hit a brick wall while looking for articles. There isn't a single magic search for your topic. You will need to do several searches to find all of the information you need. For my topic, I came up with these alternative keywords, waltz, tango, social dance, movement therapy, therapeutic, Alzheimer's, mild cognitive impairment. It's also a good idea to think about which disciplines might have written something about your topic. People from several fields might be interested in dance therapy for patients with dementia and they will all have unique points of view that can be helpful to my research. For example, I might want to research health and medicine and education databases in addition to the performing arts databases to research this topic. 
After you have created a search strategy, you can start to search for articles. Understanding the purpose and place of literature reviews, taking the time to write and revise a research question, identifying key concepts, determining alternative keywords, and selecting appropriate databases will all save you time and improve your searching in the long run. Please watch the videos on accessing UW Whitewater Library databases and common search tips for tips on searching library databases. Thank you.